This is an instructional video to guide you in safely and effectively injecting your hormones. This video covers how to prepare the syringe for your injection. This is also called drying up. The first step to preparing to give yourself an injection is gathering your supplies. This includes your vial of hormones, a syringe for drying up or removing the hormones from the vial, a smaller needle for giving yourself the shot or injection, at least two alcohol wipes, a band-aid, and a place to store your used needles and syringes. Before you give yourself an injection, you always want to wash your hands with soap and water. If you have a new vial of hormones, you'll need to take the cap off. This cap shows you that the vial is brand new and has never been used. Then you want to scrub the center of the vial with an alcohol wipe to clean it. This prevents bacteria from getting into the vial or your shot. Next, open your syringe. It will come with a big needle to make it easier to draw up the hormones. Hormones are mixed with oil, so it's pretty thick, like cooking oil. Pull down the plunger on your syringe to the dose of hormones you are going to remove from the vial. If you're not sure of your dose, you can look on the prescription label on the box of your hormones Call the pharmacy where you picked up your hormones, or contact your provider's office to double check. Pull the cap off the syringe. Push the syringe into the rubber stopper and inject the air inside of the syringe into the vial. Flip everything upside down. Make sure the tip of the needle is in the liquid and start to pull down on the plunger. As you pull down, you will likely see both air and liquid start to fill the barrel of the syringe. This is normal. When you know that you have more than your dose of hormones in the syringe, tap any big bubbles of air to the top like this. Then push the air and extra hormones back into the vial until you have your correct dose in the syringe. Having air bubbles in the syringe won't hurt you, but they do take up space and you won't get your full dose. Now you can pull the needle out of the vial and very carefully recap the needle. Now you are going to change the needle to the one you will use to perform the injection. There are still hormones inside of the needle, so pull down on the plunger to suck the hormones from the needle into the barrel of the syringe. Twist off the needle to remove it. You then want to dispose of your used needle and syringe in a plastic container with hard sides and a lid. Open the extra needle and try not to touch the colored plastic end. Twist the new needle onto the end of the syringe. Push on the plunger until you start to see a bead of hormones at the tip of the needle. Now you're ready to give yourself a shot. 